Today, I'm going to show a very simple and effective way of restoring your engine to its former state. It is decarbonizing. We will pour some engine flush liquid in the running engine. It will thoroughly rinse the combustion chamber, evaporating under high pressure. It will also thoroughly rinse the valves. There are different ways to decarbonize an engine. The liquid can be put into a fuel tank, engine oil container, or running engine through a tube. There are different nozzles produced by different manufacturers for different methods. Yet we are going to use materials at hand because they are the cheapest and most available one. We are going to use a mixture of hydrogen peroxide with water. Mix 16 hydrogen peroxide tablets with 5 liters of water or 400 milliliters of 3% content hydrogen peroxide with 5 liters of water. We will also need a bottle and a tube with a drip bag. You need to start your car and heat up the engine. By no means ever pour the mixture into a shut-off engine. Let us set it to 2500 rotations with the help of this device. You could also adjust the e control with the carburetor. When the engine has heated up enough, connect the drip back to this pipe or to the intake pipe. You could also connect it to the vacuum pipe that is connected to the intake manifold. Let us adjust the jet of the drip back. It has to drip fast but not to flow continuously. Once the mixture gets into the engine, the dashboard starts ascending vapor that is not just some vapor. The vapor contains the carbon that was collecting in the combustion chamber and the valves for a long time. There may be some drops in the engine work during the carbonization process, rotation of the engine may drop, it may shake violently. Once you have decarbonized the engine, such problems as overusing of engine oil, low compression, pinning, drops of engine rotation, overusing of petrol and low power will be gone. Once you finish the decarbonizing, you need to drive 10 to 15 kilometers in order for the vestiges in the engine to get out of the engine completely. You may have white smelly smoke as a result of the decarbonizing. Then you need to change the engine oil and the engine oil filter. You can do this 100 kilometers before you need to change your engine oil. Now let us drive the car and see the results of the decarbonizing. The exhaust fumes are not that thick, and it takes this car to reach the speed of 100 kilometers the same amount of time as it would take for a brand new car that is 14 seconds to be precise. Did you like the video? Subscribe to the channel where you will see other experiments that are not less exciting than this one.